Good evening. Good evening. We welcome you to the 2018 swearing in ceremony for reelected and newly elected officials. We welcome those in our audience here in the Douglas County Courthouse, Citizens Hall, and those watching us live, that's right, live, on DCTV 23. Thank you for joining us. My name is Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County, and it is an honor to be here. Before we begin the ceremony, we would like to acknowledge and recognize all elected officials in our audience. If you are an elected official, please stand so you can properly be recognized. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being with us. Tonight, we gather. We gather to celebrate our county, our nation, and the foundation of our American government as newly elected and re-elected Douglas County officials take their oaths of office. Just as the Constitution has withstood the test of time, so has Douglas County since its creation in 1870. As our population continues to grow, our county continues to evolve and prosper. Abraham Lincoln once said, elections belong to the people. And according to Douglas County Board of Elections office, approximately 56,000 citizens participated in last month's general election and exercised their right to vote. Tonight, we celebrate. We celebrate the freedom to choose our own leaders, to govern and charge them with administering our county well. Please join me in standing as Senior Pastor Kevin McCoy of First Baptist Church Lithia Springs makes his way to the podium to bring us our invocation. Then please remain standing as the colors of our nation and state are presented by the Douglas County Fire Department Honor Guard under the command of Captain Mike excuse me, Rusty Shaddox. And the national anthem will be performed by saxophonist, Mr. Joel Cruickshank. Pastor McCoy. It's a great privilege to be here with you to celebrate the achievements of who we are as citizens. Would you join me now as we pray? God of each of us and God of all of us, we trust that you are present with these newly elected and re-elected leaders of our community and as they go about their important works. Lord, tonight we pray that they would, throughout the tenure, use their gifts, talents, and intelligence that you have given them to faithfully weigh courses of actions and make decisions. Lord, we know that because they're humans, help us to be patient with them as we would want you to be patient with us. And help us as a community to be supportive of our leaders, drawing strength from what unites us instead of dwelling on what divides us. May we always seek the greater good and the well-being of others through our words and actions. And Lord, help us be a witness to your love by continuing to love our neighbor, especially the ones that had the other candidate's yard sign on their lawn. Father, remind us that disagreement is not always conflict of worldviews. Father, grant us wisdom as well as these leaders who have been elected to know how best to work with each other for your glory and your honor. So, Lord, tonight we pray to be with these newly elected leaders of our community. May your spirit give them your heart for justice and mercy for the Lord, Lord, for the people of our community. And grant all of these elected leaders wisdom to know that all power comes from you. And so the need to seek you daily is important as they lead. Instill in them the humility you showed in Jesus' life. And may we live daily as obedient citizens, ever pointing out that our trust is not in government leaders nor in armed forces, but our trust is in your name. And as always, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, because it is in your name we humbly pray as your children. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Remain standing.
Thank you. You may be seated. Now, it is my honor, my distinct honor, to introduce to you tonight's Mistress of Ceremony, Douglas County's Communications and Media Specialist, Ms. Lena Hardy. Named Miss Douglas County USA for 2018, Ms. Hardy represented Douglas County for the past two years in the Miss Georgia USA pageant contest. The daughter of retired Lieutenant Colonel Anthony Hardy Sr. and Mrs. Jacqueline Hardy, a Douglas County educator, Ms. Hardy represents dedication, intelligence, and beauty of our homegrown community here in Douglas County. Please help me and welcome Ms. Lena Hardy to the podium. Thank you, Rick, for that introduction. Good evening. Good evening. As our chairman, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, has stated, there's no room for second place. Therefore, every day we strive to reach the top spot and remain in that position. However, Chairman Dr. Jones understands that she cannot undertake this mission to the top alone. She understands that a body of elected officials are required to make the necessary changes to preserve the ideals of Douglas County and continue to elevate our community. Tonight, we are here to administer the oaths of office to newly elected and re-elected county officials who embody the vision and will to ensure that first place is right on the horizon. We begin our program with Superior Court. The Superior Court is the highest court in our county and is usually referred to as the criminal court since it primarily handles felony cases. It has exclusive constitutional authority over felony cases, divorce, equity, and cases regarding the title to land. However, it also handles such wonderful events as the adoption of children, placing youth in homes they did not previously have. The Superior Court is the safeguard of our liberty. Judge David Emerson was elected on May 22, 2018 to Superior Court. His term runs from January 1, 2019 to December 31st, 2022. At this time, I invite Chief Superior Court Judge David Emerson to take the oath of office and then to address the citizens of Douglas County from the podium. Probate Court Judge Hal Hemrick will administer the oath of office. Ladies and gentlemen, Chief Superior Court Judge David Emerson. your right hand. This is the oath of judge of the Superior Court. I state your name. I, David T. Emerson. A citizen of Douglas County. A citizen of Douglas County. And being an employee of the state of Georgia and Douglas County. And being an employee of the state of Georgia and Douglas County. And the recipient of public funds for services rendered. And the recipient of public funds for services rendered. As such employee do hereby solemnly swear and affirm. As such employee do solemnly swear. And that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of Georgia. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Georgia. I do further swear that you will administer justice. I do further swear that I will administer justice. Without respect to person. Without respect to person. And do equal rights to the poor and the rich. And do equal rights to the poor and the rich. That I will faithfully and partially discharge and I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent on me as judge of the Superior Court and perform all the duties incumbent upon me as the judge of the Superior Court of this state of this state according to the best of your ability according to the best of my ability and understanding and understanding and agreeably to the laws and the Constitution of this state and agreeable, agreeably to the laws and constitution of this state. And the constitution of the United States. And the constitution of the United States. 
I do further solemnly swear and affirm. I do further solemnly swear and affirm that I'm not the holder of any unaccounted for public money due this state. That I'm not the holder of any unaccounted for public money due this state. Or any political subdivision or authority thereof. Or any political subdivision or authority thereof. That I'm not the holder of any office of trust under the government of the United States. That I'm not the holder of any office of trust under the government of the United States. Nor of either of the several states. Nor of any of the several states. Nor any foreign state. Nor any foreign state. That I am otherwise qualified to hold said office. That I am otherwise qualified to hold said office. According to the Constitution and the laws of Georgia. According to the Constitution and laws of Georgia. And that I will support the Constitution of the United States and of this state. I will support the Constitution of this state and of the United States. And, the, and, I, <clears throat> and I have been a resident of this circuit for the time required by the Constitution and the laws of Georgia. And I have been a resident of this circuit for the time required by the laws of Georgia. Uh, this is loyalty oath. I state your name. I, David T. Emerson. A citizen of Douglas County. A citizen of Douglas County. And being an employee of the state of Georgia and Douglas County. And being an employee of the state of Georgia and Douglas County. And a recipient of public funds for services rendered. And a recipient of public funds for services rendered. Do hereby solemnly swear and affirm. Do you hereby solemnly swear and affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of Georgia? That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the state of Georgia. Congratulations. So You're help now. Me God. <laughs> 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 I've administered a lot of oaths to a lot of attorneys over the years, and the actual text, and I don't know if you notice it, but you, you swear or affirm. And, and so whenever I administer an oath to someone in courtroom, I always say that because there are those because of, of very strongly held religious beliefs believe that they should not swear, but they will affirm. So that's, that's why I didn't say affirm. I, it is my privilege to serve, this will be the eighth term as a judge of this court. And uh, Douglas County has gone through a lot. When I first came into office, we were in a 1956 modern architectural design building over on Highway 78. And so I had a, a, the privilege of helping to design this facility. And I'm always grateful uh, that we are in this building now. I'm also grateful always to our county commissioners because they are, are undertaking to help us renovate this facility in the coming year and, and move us forward uh, as we have to make room for other, uh, other people uh, to expand their offices. I'm oftentimes asked uh, about uh, what exactly does the superior court do? You know, it's kind of strange. It's superior to what? Um, and I just sum it up this way. Uh, if you want to get divorced or if you are the victim of murder, then we will try your case in the Superior Court. And that's what we do. We try the major felonies. Uh, we handle what I think is extremely important work in our domestic cases and our divorce, the divorces and might be a child custody case or whatever. But that's the court that you have. And that actually, when you look at the history of Georgia, uh, well, believe it or not, sometimes I'll have people come in and they're accused of a crime and they'll say, well, you don't have jurisdiction over me. And it's kind of a vogue thing people do these days. And, and uh, the history lesson of that is that uh, what happened on July 4th of 1776? The Declaration of Independence that we have inscribed out here in this atrium. Well, in 1777, the state of Georgia uh, adopted its first constitution. And in the first constitution of this state, they created the Superior Court. And it has always been, since the founding of this state, uh, and also uh, I asked them if they know what happened, I believe it was October 19 or so, I might have the date wrong, but it was at a place called Yorktown. 
there was a battle there, right? And that's when George Washington's army won the Revolutionary War. And from that point forward, that's when we got the Superior Court, because it didn't mean anything if we didn't win the war. So that's how we have our current justice system. So as I say, it is my privilege to continue to serve your community. And I see Judge McLean is here. I don't know if Judge Adams is here or not. Uh, okay. But I, I do tell you this, that all three of your Superior Court judges are committed every day to serve justice in your community uh, when they come to work. And they work very hard. I'm very proud. Bo, I looked at our numbers. We've disposed of, I don't know if it's over 100 or 200 more of our criminal cases this year and about 100 more of our domestic, our civil cases. So we're in the black in terms of our dispositions this year. And that doesn't happen by accident. It happens because people are committed uh, to moving their cases and getting them decided. Um, I want to mention some up people. I, I have some of my family here today. My son, Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Emerson, is with us. My daughter, Dr. Leanna Osborne, and her husband, Wes, is here. My wife of 40 years is here, Carol. And watching on TV are my grandchildren uh, and my daughter-in-law, Melissa, uh, who's there, and, and my other daughter, Dr. Sarah Lee, and her four children and her husband, Frank, there at home. Uh, you don't bring six grandchildren uh, to something like this. So uh, I'm very privileged to have a wonderful family and proud to have them with me tonight. Thank you. Now we have Magistrate Court. The Douglas County Magistrate Court handles claims under $15,000 in garnishment actions. A magistrate judge holds a hearing to decide each case. Criminal bond hearings are held in the Magistrate Court on the judicial side of the Douglas County Courthouse. Judge Susan Camp is the Chief Magistrate Judge of Douglas County. Judge Camp has been a magistrate judge in this county since 1995 and was first elected Chief Magistrate Judge in 1998. She was also Douglas County's first elected female judge. Judge Camp will be starting her sixth term in office after being reelected in the November election. Judge Susan Camp is married to Mr. Scott Camp and they have two sons, Michael and Matthew. I now invite Chief Magistrate Judge Susan Camp to take the oath of office and then to address the citizens of Douglas County from the podium. Probate Court Judge Hal Hamrick will administer the oath of office. Ladies and gentlemen, Chief Magistrate Judge Susan Camp. Right hand. <clears throat> I state your name. I, Susan Camp. Swear or affirm. Swear or that, affirm. That you will duly and faithfully perform all the duties. That I will duly and faithfully perform all the duties. Required of you as magistrate of Douglas County. Required of me as magistrate of Douglas County. And that you do follow, <coughs> further solemnly swear or affirm. I do further solemnly swear or affirm. I'm not the holder of any unaccounted for public money. I'm not the holder of any unaccounted for public money. Do this state. Do this state. Or any political subdivision. Or any political subdivision. Or authority thereof. Or authority thereof. And I'm not the holder of any office or trust. I'm not the holder of any office or trust. Under the government of the United States. Under the government of the United States. Any other state. Any other state. Or any foreign state. Or any foreign state. Which I am prohibited from holding which I am prohibited from holding by the laws of the state of Georgia by the laws of the state of Georgia that I'm otherwise qualified that I'm otherwise qualified to hold said office to hold said office according to the constitution and laws of Georgia according to the constitution and the laws of Georgia that, that I will support the constitution of the United States I will support the constitution of the United States and of this state and of this state that I have been a resident of this county for the time required that I've been a resident of this County for the time required by the Constitution and laws of this state. By the Constitution and the laws of this state. 
and, and this is the loyalty oath. I state your name. I, Susan Camp. A citizen of Douglas County. Citizen of Douglas County. And being an employee of Douglas County. Being an employee of Douglas County. And a recipient for public funds for services rendered. Recipient of public funds for services rendered. As such employee. As such employee. To hereby solemnly swear and affirm. To hereby solemnly swear and affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of Georgia. And the Constitution of Georgia. I so guess. help you God. So help me God. Congratulations. I want to thank everybody for coming today. Um, the election went really well, and uh, I'm so proud of everybody. As the, you know, you heard earlier, this is my sixth term. I'll be starting my sixth term of office. And um, I've loved every minute of it. It's uh, Judge Emerson and Judge James first appointed me originally. And then I uh, ran for election. And I first started in 95. 1995, I was uh, a magistrate judge. I'd been a lawyer before that. And then in 98, I became the chief magistrate judge. Um, it has been, you know, it's just been a joy every day. And I appreciate the people of Douglas County electing me. We have uh, three magistrate judges. We have Judge Barbara Caldwell and I and Judge Joel Dodson. Now, Judge Barbara Caldwell, she has been a magistrate judge since 1984. In magistrate court, we have a small claims court and we have criminal court. Uh, the small claims court is a civil court. The uh, criminal court, what we do are bond hearings. When people first get arrested, they come in front of us, we set their bond, and then we have criminal preliminary hearings. And on the um, civil side, we have small claims where people sue people for $15,000 or less. We also have dispossessory cases, and that's an unlimited jurisdiction. It's, uh, we have garnishments, you know, just a lot, lots of different type of cases. So um, it's, just, it's just been a pleasure, and I appreciate you voting for me again. Thank you. We continue our program with Solicitor General. The Solicitor General represents the people of Douglas County and the state of Georgia as the court's prosecuting attorney. The state court, and therefore the Solicitor General, handles all misdemeanor criminal and traffic offenses committed within Douglas County. The goal of the Solicitor General's office is to balance the representation of the state while delivering justice swiftly and efficiently using a fair and impartial attitude. The goals include safety for the public, holding defendants accountable for their actions, advocating the protection of victims of crime, and offering support and assistance throughout the court process. <coughs> Mrs. Sonia Compton was elected to her first term of office in the November election. Compton is the managing attorney of the law firm Sonia C. Compton, LLC where she specializes in general civil and criminal litigation, handling matters ranging from appeals, personal injury, criminal, family, and juvenile law. Mrs. Compton and her family have called Douglas County home for over 22 years. At this time, I invite Solicitor General-elect Sonia Compton to take the oath of office and then to address the citizens of Douglas County from the podium. Chief Magistrate Judge. Susan Camp will administer the oath of
Sonia, if you would, repeat after me. I, Sonia Compton. I, Sonia Compton. Do swear or affirm. Do affirm. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Without fear. Without fear. Favor. Favor. Or affection. Or affection. Discharge my duties. Discharge my duties. As Solicitor General. As Solicitor General. Of the state of Georgia. Of the state of Georgia. Douglas County. Douglas County. And will take only my and, lawful compensation. And will take only my lawful compensation. I do furthermore swear or affirm. I do further affirm that I am not the holder of any unaccounted for public that, money. That I am not the holder of any public money. Do this state. Do this state. Or any political subdivision. Or any political subdivision. Or authority thereof. Or authority thereof. That I am not the holder. That I am not the holder. Of any office of trust. Of any office of trust. Under the government. Under the government. Of the United States. Of the United States. Any other state. Or any other state. Or any foreign state. Or any foreign state. Which I am prohibited which I am prohibited from holding from holding by the laws by the laws of the state of Georgia of the state of Georgia and that I am otherwise qualified that I am otherwise qualified to hold said office to hold said office according to according to the, the Constitution the Constitution of the United States of the United States and the laws of Georgia and the laws of Georgia and that I will support and that I will support the Constitution the Constitution of the United States of the United States and of this state and of this state and that I have been and that I have been a resident a resident of this geographic area of this geographic area for the time required for the time required by the Constitution by the Constitution and the laws of this state and the laws of this state so help me God so help me God and then I'm going to administer the loyalty oath I, Sonia Compton. I, Sonia Compton. A citizen of Douglas County. A citizen of Douglas County. And, and being an employee of Douglas County. And being an employee of Douglas County. And the recipient of public funds. And the recipient of public funds. For services rendered. For services rendered. As such employee. As such employee. I do hereby solemnly swear. I do by solemnly affirm. And I'll, that I will support that I will support the Constitution, the Constitution of the United States, of the United States, and the Constitution of Georgia, and the Constitution of Georgia. So help me God. So help me God. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Since this is my first term, I have to have my little notes with me. <laughs> first, I want to give honor and thank God for placing me in this position because all glory goes to God. Amen. Secondly, I want to thank my husband, Eddie, who's my rock, who's my friend, who's a person who we can argue and we still love each other. He's there for me. Next, I'd like to thank my mom and dad. My dad died back in 2014, but I know he's with me here in spirit. And my mom is here, Gussie Cody, and she's 89 years old and still doing pretty good. I would like to thank my church family, Ben Hill United Methodist Church, I also would like to thank my second church family, Golden Memorial United Methodist Church. <laughs> I'd like to extend thanks to my campaign staff, my niece Shayla, who was there with me all the time, Anthony Knight, who handled the signs. I'd like to thank Alan, who was my volunteer coordinator, but he could not make it today. And I'd like to thank Eddie, who was always there. I further would like to thank Spencer Hardy, my campaign manager, who kept us steady and kept us going. I want to thank Terenia Carthen and Commissioner Henry Mitchell for all your support and help. I would like to thank Commissioner Greg Baker, our tax commissioner, for your support as well. I have a special thanks for our chairperson, Ramona Jackson-Jones, because she kept encouraging me. She said, don't stop. 
You keep seeking your dream, and I appreciate that, Dr. Jones. I further would like to thank my tennis team, the Montclair Movers. They are here tonight. I appreciate you all coming. <laughs> and my bell choir, Shekinah Gloric Bell Choir. They are here, too. Just want to say I appreciate the citizens of Douglas County giving me this opportunity. I am here to serve you. I will be a servant leader. My office right now is on the third floor. If you have any concerns, my door will be open. I am a servant leader. I further would like to acknowledge my son, Mark. He's here, Minister Mark, along with my, <laughs> <laughs> along with my grandson, Joshua and Josiah, and his wife, <laughs> Esther. My stepdaughter, Erica, she's here. Her husband cannot make it, but also my grandkids, Courtney and Corbin, <laughs> and my stepson, Colonel Eddie Compton III, and his wife, Joanne. I really appreciate you all's support. I appreciate everyone's prayers. My Valdosta family, I appreciate y'all too. Thank you so much. The Douglas County Board of Commissioners consists of five elected members, four district commissioners, and the chairman. Together they form the legislative arm of the government, the body responsible for making the laws and voting on issues affecting all of the citizens of Douglas County. District 4 Commissioner Ann jones Guider was unable to attend this evening's event due to the holiday, but took the oath prior to this evening's ceremony. In tonight's audience, we have Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones and incumbent Vice Chair and District 2 Commissioner Mr. Kelly Robinson and retiring District 3 Commissioner Mike Mulcair. Please give them a round of applause. <laughs> Speaking of District 3, Mrs. Terenia Carthen was elected to her first term of office in November after serving in the healthcare and technology sectors for over 20 years. Carthen holds a computer information systems degree and a BS degree as a graduate of Atlanta Christian College. Married for 24 years to her husband, Tony, together they have four daughters. One of her favorite quotes is by Mother Teresa, which reads, kind words can be short and easy to speak but their echoes are truly endless. I invite District 3 Commissioner-elect Terenia Carthen to take the oath of office and then to address the citizens of Douglas County from the podium. Probate Court Judge Hal Hamrick will administer the oath of office. This is the official oath of county commissioner. I state your name. I, Terenia Carthen. Do swear or affirm. Do affirm. That I will and truly discharge the duties of commissioner. That I will and truly discharge the duties of commissioner. For Douglas County. For Douglas County. In all matters. In all matters. Which require my official action. Which require my official action. To the best of my knowledge and skill. To the best of my knowledge and skill. I will also act as in my judgment I will also act as in my judgment will be most conducive to the welfare which will be most conducive to the welfare and best interest of the entire county and best interest of the entire county I have been a residence thereof I have been a residence thereof for the time required for the time required by the Constitution and laws of the state of Georgia by the Constitution and laws of the state of Georgia I do further solemnly swear or I, affirm I do 
further solemnly affirm that I'm not the holder of any unaccounted for public money. That I'm not the holder of any unaccounted for public money. Do this state. Do this state. Or any political subdivision. Or any political subdivision. Or authority thereof. Or authority thereof. That I'm not the holder of any office of trust. That I'm not the holder of any office of trust. Under the government of the United States. Under the government of the United States. Any other state. Any other state. Or any foreign state. Or any foreign state. Which I am prohibited from holding. Which I am prohibited from holding. By the laws of the state of Georgia. By the laws of the state of Georgia. That I'm otherwise qualified. That I'm otherwise qualified otherwise qualified to hold said office to hold said office according to the constitution of the united states according to the constitution of the united states and the laws of georgia and the laws of georgia and that i will support the constitution and that i will support the constitution of the united states of the united states and of this state and of this state uh, uh, for your loyalty oath I state your name. I, Terenia Carthen. A citizen of Douglas County. A citizen of Douglas County. And being an employee of Douglas County. And being an employee of Douglas County. And a recipient of public funds. And a recipient of public funds. For services rendered as such employee. For services rendered as such employee. Do hereby solemnly swear and affirm. Do hereby solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution of Georgia. And the Constitution Save of Georgia. Save you God. So help me God. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out. This is a humbling moment. For you see, the woman standing to my left of me is 91 years of age. She just turned 91 two Christmas Eve, so three days ago. Without her, I would not be here. She is my grandmother. When I first moved to Douglas County, she said, baby, what you want to do that for? <laughs> <laughs> I did all right, huh? You did good. Honey. I did good. God bless you. <laughs> so, without further ado, I also want to say thank you to my husband. And the woman you see standing next to him is my godmother. My mother passed in 2001 from breast cancer, but she did not leave me alone. She left me with a woman who would stand by my side and pray me through whatever I decided to do. Thank you. I want to also say thank you to my Democratic Women's Council of Douglas County. Where you at, ladies? Yes. <laughs> to the Douglas County Democratic Committee. Where you at? To the awesome women of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, where you at? Raise the roof. <laughs> to the women impacting West Georgia, and to all of my social clubs, affiliate, and great people. Also to my Jackson Memorial Baptist Church family, where you at? Wow. <laughs> Thank you. See, my name may have been the name that you saw on the ballot, but I was not the only name. All of these people in here who raised their hands, who came out to support me tonight, my family and my four girls, Brittany, Alarn, Maya, Asia, and the handsome young man that you saw get on the stage was my son in love, who's married to my oldest daughter. Thank you all so much for your support. It is my goal to make sure that we progress Douglas County forward. I may be the first African-American woman District 3 commissioner, but I will not be the last. I will leave a legacy that another young woman can walk in and follow. Thank you, and God bless.
Now we turn our focus to District 1. <coughs> Commissioner Henry Mitchell III was re-elected for his third term as District 1 Commissioner in the November election. Commissioner Mitchell holds a degree in Business Administration. He is FCC licensed in radio, television broadcasting, and is a Georgia licensed realtor. Commissioner Mitchell believes success is not measured so much by the position that one has reached in life, but by the obstacles that one has overcome while trying to succeed. At this time, I invite District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III to take the oath of office and then to address the citizens from the podium. State Court Judge Brian Fortner will administer the oath of office. Ladies and gentlemen, District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III. My friend, Thank Henry you. Mitchell, yes. we're going to administer the oath of office at your request a little bit differently, but yes. I want everyone to understand that it's no less serious, no less solemn, no less binding, no less important. I'm going to begin by administering the official oath of county commissioner, placing your left hand on the Bible, raising your right hand. Mm -hmm. Please take this oath. Henry Mitchell, do you swear or affirm that you will well and truly discharge the duties of commissioner for Douglas County in all matters which require your official action to the best of your knowledge and skill, and you will so act as in your judgment will be most conducive to the welfare and best interest of the entire county, and that you have been a resident of this county for the time required by the Constitution and laws of this state. I swear and affirm. Do you further solemnly swear or affirm that you're not the holder of any unaccounted for public money due this state or any political subdivision or authority thereof, that you're not the holder of any office of trust under the gov government of the United States, any other state or any foreign state, which you are prohibited from holding by the laws of the state of Georgia, and that you're otherwise qualified to hold this office according to the Constitution of the United States and laws of Georgia, and that you will support the constitutions of the United States and of this state. So help you God. So help you God, I swear. I'm now going to administer the loyalty oath. <laughs> Henry Mitchell, being a citizen of Douglas County and being an employee of Douglas County. That's all right, go right ahead. And the recipient of public funds for services rendered as such employee, do you hereby solemnly swear or affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the state of Georgia? I swear. Looks like you got some help there, yes, too. Yes, I do. So I do. Congratulations, <laughs> my friend. You. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Let me first give honor to God and all that he's done in my life. Amen? Amen. 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 Amen? Amen. And let me give a special thanks to those of you who trusted me with your vote in this third term. This has been a long journey, by the way. I mean, it started as far back as early 2000 as a sit in the city of Douglasville as the mayor pro tem and now moving over to the Board of Commissioners. And this journey has been long and hard, and I just want to thank you for entrusting me which I sometimes question myself <laughs> in doing this. So thank you for your vote. And even if you didn't vote for me, I hope I can earn your trust. And next time around, earn your vote. I truly believe that you'll find that I'm honest. I'm a true leader. My yes is my yes. And my no is my no. And I want to make sure that this board continue to be as transparent as any board and any position that there is. So I thank you for that line of trust that you laid and stored upon me with the duties and responsibilities of the county. I also like to thank my lovely daughter and my family because you guys know we spend a lot of time in things that we do here at the county. So uh, from my family, 
they allow me to do all of these things. And you, as my second extended family, I just want to say thank you again. And thank you for, for all of that you have entrusted in me. With that being said, this journey was long. Throughout this journey, I must add, I lost a loved one, dear to my heart, from the age of cancer. My aunt, I know she's looking down upon me saying how great and wonderful that her nephew is. And I just want to say thank you to her and, and you're going to be truly missed. But I will be remiss if I don't also share with you my extended family. For those of you who don't know, I too have been diagnosed with prostate cancer. But don't worry. Don't sob. No need to worry. God is good. Amen. All the time. And here I am standing before you, going through that long journey of recovery. So my Facebook friends, when you sometimes say, why is he not sitting down in the meetings? And what, what's going on? And wh he's not at the meetings. You know, I use this slogan of, you know, still working hard for the community. So well, he's not working hard because he's not even there. But my commissioners and my board know that I'm there. I may be in the hallway or in the doorway, just kind of making my comments at afar. But with the surgery and all those things that happened, it required me to do a little differency in how I operate. But I'm here. And I'm only here by the grace of God. So I share with you, my extended family, that this journey that I will now champion for those of you who hear my voice, especially to my men. I hope you hear my voice and take it serious that this thing they call cancer is no joke. If you haven't been tested, please do so. Now, I know sometimes we take the journey of not wanting to kind of do those uh, exams. I, too, don't like it either. <laughs> but to those mothers and wives and nieces and others, encourage us to kind of go and get checked up and checked out and make sure that we're all, all together so we can kind of spend some more time and humble time and hours together. So if you hear my voice and you will hear this conversation going, uh, this champion, this whole prostate journey that we'll take. It's serious, and I hope you take it serious. So to my men in the room and those who hear me on DC 23, take it serious. I too have went through the surgery and done well. I'm standing here with you, and I'm not 100%, but I still want to continue to serve because as a public servant, I think I need to do what's right by me first to publicly serve you. So I thank you. I thank you for all that you've done on my behalf and standing here with me and believing in me. And I know that you believe in me because almost 70% of you that voted, voted for me. So that's trust. That's belief. And I thank you from the Democratic Party to the Republican Party to the independents, the rich and poor, whomever that may have got out and vote. Thank you, and I truly appreciate you, and I love you, and may God bless you, God bless America, and God bless Douglas Countyans. Thank you. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. The education of each student in our county is one of the most important responsibilities any of us can undertake. And it requires a special type of person to be a teacher, a mentor, and an administrator. The Douglas County Board of Education is composed of five members, each of whom represent a geographical district of our county. Board of Education District 3 consists of Chapel Hill Elementary, Chapel Hill Middle, Factory Shoals Middle, New Manchester Elementary, New Manchester High, and the Performance Learning Center. District 3 is represented by board member Mrs. Tracy Rueckert. Board member Tracy Rueckert was elected for her second term in the November election. She is a global business strategist with over 15 years of history managing experience, providing business development strategy and proposed responses for federal, state, and international clients. She is also an active Douglas County resident with a wide range of past and present volunteer efforts and community engagement events. 
Mrs. Tracy Ruka was elected Board of Education Chair in January 2017. At this time, I invite Board of Education Chair, District 3 member, Tracy Ruka, to take the oath of office and then to address the citizens of Douglas County from the podium. <coughs> Probate Court Judge Hal Hamrick will administer the oath of office. Ladies and gentlemen, Board of Education Chair, District 3 member, Tracy Ruka. Put your left hand on the Bible, raise your right hand. All right. <clears throat> okay. Repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Tracy Rookard. A citizen of Douglas County. A citizen of Douglas County. And then being an employee of Douglas County. And being an employee of Douglas County. And a recipient of public funds for services rendered. And the, re the recipient of public f funds for services provided rendered. Uh, as such employee, as such employee, do hereby solemnly swear and affirm, do hereby solemnly affirm, that you will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of Georgia, and the Constitution of Georgia. I do further solemnly affirm, I do further solemnly affirm, that I will truly and faithfully, that I will truly and faithfully discharge all the duties, discharge all of the duties required of me by law required of me by law as a member of the board of education for douglas county as a member of the board of education for douglas county to the best of my ability to the best of my ability and i do further swear affirm i do further affirm that i'm not the holder of any unaccounted for public money uh, that i do that i'm not the holder of any other accounting or public public funds or money of this state of this state or any political subdivision or any political subdivision or authority thereof or authority thereof that I'm not the holder that I'm not the holder of any office of trust of any office of trust under the government of the United States under the government of the United States nor of any other states nor of any other states or any foreign state or any foreign states I'm that otherwise qualified and, that, and I'm otherwise qualified to hold said office to, to hold said office according to the Constitution According to the Constitution and the laws of Georgia, and the laws of Georgia, that I will support the Constitution, that I will support the, the Constitution of the United States, of the United States, and of this state, and of this state, and that I have met the residency requirements of this office, and that I have met the residency requirements of this office. I, I state your name. I Tracy Rookard. A citizen of Douglas County. A citizen of Douglas County. And being an employee of Douglas County. And being an employee of Douglas County. And a recipient of public funds. And being the recipient of public funds. For services rendered. For services rendered. As such employee. As such employee. Do hereby solemnly swear and affirm. Do hereby solemnly swear and just solemnly affirm. swear. <laughs> and that you will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution of Georgia. And the Constitution so of Georgia. Help God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Good evening. I am also a historian, so I have to do what historians do. Um, on July 12, 1848, a baby boy was born into slavery in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Shortly after his birth, his father escaped to freedom, to Canada, and although he tried many times to free the baby and his family, slave traders took them and sold them at auction. Seemingly destined for a life of immense failure, the baby surprisingly emerged into a resilient, brilliant young man who, during the American Civil War, escaped across Union Army lines where he, at that point, was freed. That freedom enabled him to get an education. And in 1867, against all odds, he became a teacher. He was the first person to teach at a school for black students in the state of Alabama. And in 1875, with 67 students in tow, 
he started his own school, which is now known as Alabama A&M <laughs> University. Dr. William Hooper Council's dream to educate, elevate, and inspire students is still in existence today. The university birthed the renowned <laughs> physicist, Dr. Hadia Green. She's the creator of the cancer-fighting laser. In the 1960s, it gave birth to a brilliant mathematician who turned into a wonderful banker and then a corporate investment advisor. To some, she was known as Grace White, others Grace White Rookard, but to my brother Michael and I, she was simply known as Mama. <laughs> and in 1991, on a Mother's Day afternoon, the university gave birth to the person who would have the honor for the second time tonight to be sworn in as the District 3 representative of the Board of Education in Douglas County. And I sure thank you. I dedicate tonight to Dr. Council and to all of the seed planters, those people who understand their responsibility to clear the path for those who've yet to come. I want to thank the more than 10,000 members of my district for investing in me a vote. And also my amazing husband, Brandon, for being beside me every step of the way. I am also honored tonight to have my dad here. And he was the one who always instilled in Michael and I the importance of being prepared and presenting well. And I hope I did that tonight. <laughs> uh, I want to thank my sons, Elijah and real and all of my family my friends for supporting me for insulating me building a wall around me and making sure that i always had the support i needed to accomplish the task that i needed to accomplish and last but definitely not least i have to say thank you thank you thank you to our amazing superintendent mr trent north and my amazing board members for your partnership we have to make very tough decisions some that everyone doesn't understand but we have to always present ourselves in a cohesive way to make the best choices for um, the students in the county. And I know in, that we do that. And so we need your continued support. And this has been an amazing journey. I'm just glad that as a community, we're on it together. So thank you very much. And I'm excited, I'm looking forward to four more years. Go AAMU. Good night. <laughs> Next, we have Board of Education District 4. District 4 Board of Education consists of Arbor Station Elementary, Bright Star Elementary, Mira Lake Elementary, North Douglas Elementary, and Winston Elementary. District 4 is represented by Board Member Mrs. Michelle Simmons. Board Member Michelle Simmons was reelected for her second term in the November election. Simmons is an educator with more than 11 years of education experience in the private and public sector. Very active in the community, Simmons is a member of the Georgia School Board Association, PTA, Georgia Association of Educators, and the National Council of School Board Members. Simmons served as vice chair of the Board of Education in 2015 and was re-elected vice chair in 2017. I now invite Board of Education Vice Chair and District 4 member, Michelle Simmons, to take the oath of office and then to address the citizens of Douglas County from the podium. Probate Court Judge Hal Hamrick will administer the oath of office. Ladies and gentlemen, Board of Education Vice Chair and District 4 member, Michelle Simmons. your left hand on the Bible, raise your right hand. Mm -hmm. uh, I state your name. I am Michelle Simmons. A citizen of Douglas County. A citizen of Douglas County. And being an employee of Douglas County. And being an employee of Douglas County. And a recipient of public funds for services rendered. And a recipient of public funds for services rendered. As such employee. As such employee. Do hereby solemnly swear and affirm. Do hereby solemnly affirm. 
that I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and of the, the United of the United States and the Constitu uh, Constitution of Georgia and the Constitution of Georgia. I do further solemnly swear or affirm. I do solemnly. I do further solemnly affirm that I will truly and faithfully. That I will truly and faithfully discharge all the duties. Discharge all the duties required of me. Required of me by law as a member of the Board of Education. By law as a member of the Board of Education of Douglas County. Of Douglas County to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. I do further swear and affirm. I do further affirm that I am not the holder of any unaccounted for public money. That I am not the holder of any accounted for money. Do this state. Do this state. Do this state. Any poli political subdivision. Any political subdivision. Or authority thereof. Or authority thereof. That I'm not the holder. That I am not the holder. Of any office of trust. Of any office of trust. Under the government of the United States. Under the government of the United States. Nor any other state. Nor any other state. Nor any foreign state. Nor any foreign state. That I am otherwise qualified. That I am otherwise qualified. To hold said office. To hold said office. According to the Constitution and laws of Georgia. According to the Constitution and laws of Georgia. And that I will support the Constitution. And that I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And of this state. And of this state. And that I have been met the residence requirements of this office. And that I have met the residency requirements. Of this office. Of this office. Okay. I state your name. I, Michelle Simmons. A citizen of Douglas County. A citizen of Douglas County. And being an employee of Douglas County. And being an employee of Douglas and County. And a recipient of public funds. And a recipient of public funds. For sur services rendered. For services rendered. As such employee. As such employee. Do hereby solemnly swear. Do hereby solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution of Georgia. And the Constitution of Georgia. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. I'm the last one holding y'all up from the reception. <laughs> I won't be long, you all. I am so full tonight. I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve a second term. I'm grateful for the votes and the support. So for all of you who give, have given and continue to give me wisdom, thank you. For those of you who have a listening ear, thank you. When I just want to cry and just talk on the phone about my day, and you're available, thank you. For your encouraging words and your support, monetary donations, thank you. For just a, a pat on the back or just a hug, thank you. Because as elected officials, we need that. As educators, we need that. We need the, the, the words that you give us to help us to be able to make it through the day. Thank you so much for all you, you've done and all you're doing to help us serve on the board. And I'm thankful for my parents who have raised me. A lot of times we don't understand why our life um, ends up the way it does. But I'm thankful to my dad, Vernon Simmons, and my mom, Shirley Harvey, for coming together and creating me for the, you know, you got to give thanks to your parents. My dad's not here, but my mom is still here. And you, some of you all know she was here at the last swearing-in ceremony, and she was unable to be here today. She's in Chicago. So I just want to thank everyone, my family, my friends, all of you all that are here, those mentors that are here who supported me and encouraged me when I didn't even know I wanted to run for office that were there. Thank you so much. And just continue to pray for us as we continue to make decisions on behalf of our children that affect not only our, our children in the school system, but affect our community. As Board of Education members, the decisions we make in regards to our school affect the economic development of our community. And we are definitely aware of that. Businesses come here because of the condition of our schools. So continue to pray for us as we continue to do the things that we are we're called to do for our children. Thank you all so much. Before I begin my closing, please join me in recognizing all of our newly and re-elected officials with a round of applause once more.
Thank you. A new year is upon us, which means we hold a choice. A choice to decide how we as a county will dictate our course and character in 2019. Elected officials tonight, we challenge you to be fair and honest in your dealings and deliberations and to hold high the trust and profound power we have placed in you. We encourage you, we support you, and we wish you the absolute best as you begin your new terms in office on the first day of the new year. I now invite Pastor Ben Lang of Cornerstone Baptist Church to request God's blessing on our newly elected and re-elected officials and on our county as a whole. Please stand for the benediction. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will rest upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace and of the increase of his government and of his peace, there will be no end. Remind us, Father, that we all must stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Remind us, Father, that one day every knee will bow, every tongue will confess, that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Until that time, God, keep us honest. Help us to be people of integrity. Help us to sense your wisdom, your guidance, your discernment for these difficult days. We need you now more than ever. Thank you, sovereign God, that you love us so much. Bless our time tonight also around at the reception as we meet and greet one another. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance and give you his peace, his shalom, as he continues to destroy every authority that causes your chaos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and all the people said amen, amen. 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 And amen. amen. God bless you.